Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Oakland, California. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cleveland Browns and the Oakland Raiders. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Start backs him up five, first and 15. Wait, 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 wait. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. 637. Car to throw on second down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That goes for a gain of 31. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Right now. Deuce right. Later nine. Nine. Go Chief. Yeah. On first down, Carr. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. One, Raider one. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. It's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. Shotgun now for Carr. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Call it a gain of three. And that'll make it third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes... You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Low, low, low. Car 
Hard to throw again. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. As his guys are in for six, and the Raiders have taken the early lead. The losing streak had taken on a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They look, they look like they mean business in this one. They do now the key, holding on to that attitude, because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First down, Reeves underneath for Johnson. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it'll be a second down. Leopard! Leopard! Gone! 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 All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah! From the gun, Reeves. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game... It should open up his running game, too. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Back to the air on second down. Reeves. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing on first down. Reeves. Throw left side, caught by the tight end in Joku. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And hey, you know, you guys didn't come out of the gate. I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, to I want didn't it. offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Gone, 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 gone. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. Gone, 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 gone. Throwing again. Reeves dumping it off for Johnson. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll lead here to a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. 
they become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. to his left. That's complete right around the eight. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. What are they fighting for now going forward? You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear, <laughs> but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better, right? Well, you know something? You're right, because that's part of it, but that's two different mindsets. That's front office mindset, yeah. draft position, where are we going to be and what do we need to get? And then the players and the coaching staff right now, pride. Can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the fact they have no shot at the playoffs? Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, Three. second and 10. 694! This is Howard on second down. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Hey, 734. 694. 29. 29. Listen, hot, hot, hot. From the gun, it's Carr. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39, and they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week, three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote unquote go away. And that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback and then no one plays well. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping. Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. It didn't happen on that play. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Richardson. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. They go play action here on first down. And this is caught. That one goes for 24 yards. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. It's their quarterback, keeping it himself on the quarterback sneak. And the Browns are able to cash in for six. And they wasted no time right down near the goal line, and they just sneak it in. Just do what you need to do. Big guys going up front have the field general, the leader, just fall in behind them. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 10-7.
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already. And another first and 10. On first down, they run with Howard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. They've got it second and ten to start things out. On play action, now Carr. His throw incomplete. With that matchup, the adjustment that was made, you have a blazing guy on a blazing guy, and defensively, he won that battle. The closing speed is the key. When you have a guy that fast and he can close at the end of a play and knock it away, that's a big deal, and we just saw him do it right there. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. And that last penalty makes this third down play a little more interesting. Third and five. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know. We know where we are right now. But the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time, and they plan on putting it together, formulating a streak, get the whole month of December still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid no, 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 game. No, Jack, Patriots, Patriots. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Cut. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us, that shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bed. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early.
early in the game like they have. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. No, 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 no. Jack Patriots! Patriots! Throwing again on second and ten. Reeves throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and just like that, it's third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. now on first down and Callaway taking it in left side and they'll get him down up past the 15 just shy of the 20 they were looking for a little spark and some breathing room they got it right there a gain of 14 and a first down so a much rosier picture now after that last play here's first and 10 at the 19 yard line Throwing on first down is Carr. That's complete over the middle to Callaway. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Carr now on first down. Going for the deep ball. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. They begin the drive with Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. On first and 10, Reeves. Steps away to his left, and he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10, and unsuccessful there trying to dump it underneath. That'll bring up third down. Oh man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Throw on third down. Reeves. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Nick Kwiatkowski. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. 
Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second down, here's Carr. And he finds a man on a crossing route. And he'll go down at the 28. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Now a play fake, Carr, incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. To throw on second down. Reeves. He's going to fire one deep up, and that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one goes for 36 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. The first down carry here for Johnson. And a short gain down to about the 33. Now whistles, and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Looking to throw on second down. Reeves, he's going to look deep now for it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jarvis Landry, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Browns have moved out in front. And that was really just a great battle for that football on both sides. The result is a touchdown. Ordinarily, I'd like to say it was a win-win, but it really wasn't because the defender, while he was there with excellent coverage, he didn't get the benefit, did he? But he's not going to get chewed up in film session, will no, he? No, he was right there. They'll tell him, okay, of course you need to knock the ball away, but they won't be too upset with him. He did his job for the most part. This is taken at his four. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. 
Now Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Cameron Meredith, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Second and ten. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout called. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Get set, get set. Carr looking to throw on third and two. Got an open man. He completes it to Callaway. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. 6-18. On first and 10, here's Carr. Throw left side, taken in by Meredith. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Throwing his car on third down. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. And now before they run this fourth... Down play, we're going to get a timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Browns getting set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 14 seconds, all that's left of this first half as they come up on first down. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Back 99 Philly. Here we go. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 
Milwaukee 56. Over, 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 over. To throw on second down. Reeves. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this one is incomplete. Well, who needs a halftime? Am I right? Let's resume play. So we come upon halftime, and it's the visiting Browns with the lead. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because Detroit! now Detroit! I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first Detroit! half. That Detroit! worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, Detroit, try and hit them a little Detroit. bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Paul Richardson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Browns add six to their lead. And that time, he came out of the slot for that big play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot, know that he has tremendous speed. What you're doing with your other receivers is likely running shorter routes to draw the attention closer to the line of scrimmage to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety. You like your odds when he's running against the safety. His speed usually wins, and it did on that play. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Second and 10 now from the 27. White Monday down. Heavy, heavy. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. After the encroachment penalty, here's second and five. Six ninety-four. They'll run it now out of the gun. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him... You and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Now Carr throwing on second down. He's got his man on the crossing route. A good pick up there, a 22. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. to throw again. Carr. And this will be incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Now 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Snap comes at one, and it's Carr. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 30. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I remember a coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the autobahn. Everybody just flying by. And these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. Third down, Reeves being chased out left, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Over the middle, that's caught by Meredith. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. 61 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. On first down, Carr. Open man is Switzer complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Shotgun now for Carr. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. He has several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Later two. They'll give it to him up the middle. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Operating from the gun. Carr. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. And Bailey able to knock it through. 
And that'll make this an eight-point game. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six field oh, goals. Brandon, but, but six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Uh, the big no, no, guys Patrick, up front. Patrick. You know the motivational speech on the sideline Detroit, is, guys, Detroit. give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Patrick! 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 All right, man. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah! On first down, Reeves going deep here for Landry. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. From the gun, Reeves. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Miller. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Here we go now. Blue Lady. Blue Lady. All right now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The Browns on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and nine. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And a loose football. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But, hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big-time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. 618. 29. 29, 808, Purdue, Raider 1. They go with Howard to begin the drive, and he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. 
I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide up. The Raiders on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and five. From the gun, Carr. That's complete to Meredith. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. That's caught by Meredith right side. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, Four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Well, Gumbo. It's hot. It's hot. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So no six points incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He'll have the win at his back here in the fourth quarter. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that'll get the lead down to five. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. 
throwing on first down. Reeves underneath for Johnson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. They'll hand it off now. Johnson had a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Fumble recovery. Reeves. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it third and one. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Now they'll run it on the toss. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Raiders have recovered. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it a costly turnover. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. 
Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The line of scrimmage with seven now on second and goal. All right, here we go. Boom, landed. Boom, landed. Operating from the gun, Reeves, and his throw's going to be incomplete. David Njoku was the intended receiver, and it's third down. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he missed five. We talked about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Back to throw. Reeves. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Duke Johnson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Browns take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now after the INT, it's Carr. He's going to air one out, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off near the 44, and his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10. Now a handoff, Johnson. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, poked out. But I think a Brown was able to recover, and they'll indeed hold on to the ball here. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Leopard! Leopard! Gone! 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 Looking to throw on second down. Reeves. He sets the fire deep. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Cleveland. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And now Oakland ready to take the field. 
And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and they're going to have a third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Able to get there and pick it. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost that they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. A lot of scoring.